What's up guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be checking out my next Beanie song music video. Um, Karira. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm trying my best guys. Okay. Um, we'll find out in the, in the, in the song, of course. But yeah, the official music video, the dance practice, and of course also the Wish Bus live performance. Because y'all gave me the tutorial how to react to Beanie and I'm following. So... We're gonna check out these three videos today. Yeah, very excited. Of course, I haven't... Also, for this one, I haven't heard anything about the song. At least not that I know of. And since this is me checking out three videos, I, try, I know I always say that, but I try to keep my pausing to a minimum uh, to not stretch this video too long. And also, I know that a lot of people don't like pausing a lot, which I can understand. Um, But, like, I'm, I'm, I will pause. I can tell you that. I, I just try to keep it to a minimum. But, but I'm just not the type of person who can, like, watch one thing full and then talk about everything after because at that point when i'm at the end of the video i already forgot a lot of the things that i wanted to point out you know so i will pause but i try to keep it to a minimum to not piss off too many people first of all and also to keep this uh, or to not make this video too long um although since i really like to talk about dance practices and choreo so i might i don't know we'll see but especially for the for the music video and the live performance i try to keep my pausing to a minimum one thing before i get into this is i have a question for y'all um, because a lot of you have recommended um, me to check out, you know, more about their personalities. And I, and I do want to do that as well, because for me, like personalities is kind of like the breaking point. If I if I really stay in a group or if I really, you know, end up really following a group. Um, you know, there's a lot of groups where I love the music, but I'm not too interested in the personalities. So, you know, personalities are definitely a big thing for me uh, when it comes to, you know, actually standing or really following a group. So I do want to learn more about them. Um, a lot of you have told me to check out a specific interview to learn more about the members. My question would be, because I do want to check that out, but my question would be, should I check out a guide before the interview? Or is it okay to just start with the interview as my introduction into the members, if you know what I'm saying? Like, should I check out a, a, a guide before checking out the interview? Or is it okay to just check out a guide maybe at some point after the interview? And if I should check out a guide, let me know which one, because um, yeah, fans always know best which guide is the best to check out. And the most accurate and the most fun so yeah if you have a guide recommendation let me know in the comments and yeah as i said my question should i check out a guide before the interview or is it fine to just check out the interview um as the first you know introduction into the members personalities all right now that we got that out of the way let's check out we're going to start with the, with the music video of course and then go in the order no 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 also i'm not sure if this is going to get blocked again so i might have to blur out the video just as i did with um salamin salamin and um, we'll see I don't know yet, um, but yeah, you'll obviously see on the on the screen right now. Um, music video, five minutes long, pretty long. Carrera, Bini, let's go. ABS, CBN, They're, they blocked my video last time. <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. Yo, for a second they got me. I thought my screen turned off. Okay, so they fell from the sky in different colors. Ended up on the beach. Ooh, the outfits again. Yo, they're styling. I always say that. Styling is, is awesome. Okay, they kind of look like fairies, man. Like with the, I don't know, the vibe with the forest. Already vocals. Oh, I still can't. I still can't recognize voices really. But the first voice was so nice, like the low register. Ooh, the guitar. Hey. Carrera. Okay. Wait, this is not what I expected. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Hey, get it. Okay, first pause. Um Carrera means race, I'm assuming. Wait, this is so pretty. Like this music video, but also the song. I didn't expect the first part of the chorus to be like this minimalistic, if you want to say so. Like it was very like, 
like not a big beat drop or not nothing like that it was like pretty like yeah minimalistic i didn't expect that and um, let me go one more time back to the chorus but yeah vocals man we'll hear more about that in the live performance of course though Whew, that cry at the end like it's like ba, cha, ba, cha, but like nothing crazy you know hey hey do, 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 do. They look so pretty, man. I like this part a lot. Woo. Okay, Malloy. I like, I like how she, how we got into like the second part. How she already started like that O a little earlier, right here. And went up. Oh, I like that. Life is not a race. Ooh. There's like multiple electric guitars, which I like. Yo, this is so low. Hold on, was that the, the same? Is that the same? Was it Aya in the in the cherry on top MV? Maybe it's a different top, but it kind of looks like this that like one pink heart top. Maybe maybe not though. But I just I just saw that right off. These low vocals are so nice. And then we like get into the into the higher register kind of and the more belty. You know, this kind of slaps, but like on the low key type, you know, like it's not like in your crazy in your face slap beat, but like it still slaps. Ooh, that's pretty. That background. Oh, this is such a nice, like very chill song. I feel like. Dance break? Okay, Sheena, get it? What? Hey! Hey! Yeah, there's one, there's one electric guitar, I think, like from time to time doing din 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 din. And then there's one right now going like more forward, like just playing chords kind of. I like that. I love electric guitars. Yes! <laughs> no. <laughs> There's something about... I mean, I like rapping in general you know but i don't know why i get so hyped every time bd like starts rapping or like in this case stacy and mika um who are i feel like from what i've heard from what i've heard uh, up until now like the two main rappers um are the two members that rap the most let's let's just phrase it like that i just get so excited every time they rap i did not expect the rap in this song but to be honest too beanie Bro, Stacy's always flowing, bro. Nah. I'm sorry, one more time. One more time, one more time. I love the flow, both of them. Woo. The way they speed up the song. The did da da Hey, bro. Oh, 
Oh, I love this part. That's my favorite part, I think. Okay. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I really like this. Hey. <laughs> it keeps going too. Wings Club. What? We're back. Back into the sky. Do they have um their their own colors, their members as well? Because I know that a lot of like K-pop groups have that, um, like one color that represents each member. Kind of look like they have that too. Maybe I don't know. We get like a little like very different type of rap at the end. You know, like the whispery, more more like more. I, I don't want to say cutesy necessarily, but like very different type of ra rapping. You know. And also melodic, definitely. And I like that we layer the harmony or like stacking. And then the oh, oh the background vocals. And we just keep going, bro. It's also oh it's different members now, right? So it was Aya started, then Stacy joined in. No, only Aya, then Oh no, it's Mika, it's Mika and Stacy now. At least from the music video. We'll see in the live performance. And now it's it's Gwen and Sheena. And the back on vocals. This is so cool. And it keeps going in the background, that like kind of rap. Oh, that was nice. That was a cool way of ending the song, honestly. I really like that. Oh, I really like the song, man. Especially the, the second part of the chorus with the oh, you know, the, when we get into that part. I really, really like it. This was such, and also the message of the song, as I said last time, I think I said it last time. I'm not one to always read the lyrics when I'm checking out something for the first time because I'm always more focused on, first of all, the, the song, the sound, and then the music video. And like lyrics are always third place for me. So I, I don't read the lyrics too much. But like, it seemed like also the message of the song was like, you know, overall, um, like, obviously, life is not a race. Take it easy, you know, even if everyone around you, like, moves so fast and everything moves so fast, you know, take it slow, take your time. Everyone, you know, has their own pace, I guess, um, when it comes to life, living life, um, which is, I think, a very, very nice message. And I think oftentimes people have to be reminded of that that type you know, or that, that message that, you know, you can, you should do everything at your own pace and you shouldn't, like, hurry up just because maybe some other people are faster than you in, in certain things. Um, like you shouldn't worry about that too much and just, you know, again, life's not a race. It's a marathon. Damn. Philosophical. Okay. <laughs> um, I really, really like this song. I don't have a ranking of the songs that I he I've heard yet. I, I feel like it's too early to make a ranking. Like I've only heard three songs by now, <laughs> but like, I, I feel like it's too early to make a ranking. I also don't really like ranking songs because each song has a different charm. But this is definitely, right now, this is up there <laughs> for the three songs that I've checked out so far. I really like this. And the sound as well, the, the beat, like pretty, as I said, pretty minimalistic, but like a lot of like small sounds, I would say, you know, like a lot of sounds that are more in the background. But like, if you clo listen closely, um, like if I would listen to this again, like with, and pay more attention to the, to the, to the background sounds and to the instrumental, I feel like I would find so many, like kind of not hidden, but like, like little background sounds. Um, and different instruments that I didn't really hear when I was focused more on the song. So I think it's a very, very fun, fun instrumental as well, where it's not like too punchy in your face, but like it has like a lot of like little details, you know? Okay, dance practice. As I mentioned, I love dance practices. I love the choreo. So I might, I might pause a little bit here, a little more in here. We'll see. Um, for those who don't like that, feel free to skip this part and just get to the, to the live performance. But you know, if I see something I like, I'm gonna point it out. Simple as that. So let's get into dance practice.
Kareda. That's how you say it. I feel like. Right? Kareda. Bro, we already started. The way they start their choreos is so sick. Like every beat. Ta. Bam, bam. Ta. So that's Stacy singing? I love her voice here. Her lower register sounds so nice. Wow. That is Stacy, right? I hope. I'm, I'm pretty sure though. Ooh, nice. The domino effect. One, two, three, all going down. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Do -do 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 -do. I like that. Okay, let me focus on the dance. I'm gonna go go back one more time to check out. Hey, that's so sick. Hey, hey. okay. I want to check out the chorus one more time. The the choreo. They really like to do certain effects, you know, like don't like the ripple effect, domino effect, playing with playing with levels, and like different members doing different things. Right here. Like, even the way they face is, like, different, you know? But we have, like, there's so much going on. Like, the, the, and that's, I think, one thing about Beanie Choreos that I feel like I'm realized now after checking out the third one. To me, they feel kind of sometimes, at times, of course, they're some, oftentimes very synchronized and very on point. But, like, at times, they, they do feel chaotic, but, like, in a, in a coordinated way, you know? They feel chaotic in a coordinated way because there's so much different, so many different movements going on at the same time. And members doing different things, but of course it, it 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 still feels like very coordinated because it is at the end of the day. You know, I don't know if, if that makes sense to you, but like even when the chorus starts right here, we have like like some people just doing the spin, looking back and waiting, and then like four people doing the choreo, but like Gwen who's th singing, doing something different as well. And, not, and then we get into the synchronized stuff. I really like this part of the choreo, by the way. Hey! I like this step too. It's like ta, 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 ta. Again, three members doing it, the others just standing still. And here, only Maloy is doing doing the choreo, and everyone else is doing this, doing it, doing it in slow mo, kind of. Very cool. And then they all join in right here. Maloy gets into the group. Kadira, is that what they're doing? And the pictures they do with their like the different kind of pictures they they create with the choreo. Again, like, I don't know if, they, if this is intentional, but like last time I also, also said in the Salamin Salamin choreo, I think, um, that the, uh, the one move reminded me of a flower that's blooming. It kind of gives me the vibe here again, like kind of like a flower, but I don't know, it could be something else too. But just this, and like, you know, it kind of feels like a flower, you know, outside and inside. But you know, right here we're so synchronized and so on point. And then in other parts we're like kind of chaotic. But I think that's what makes the choreo so fun, honestly. Like there's always something going on, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. Hey! Like look at look at the synchronization. Not one person is offbeat.
Like the da, da, like ooh. And again, ripple effect. No, okay, I'm, I really like this song, man. Ta, 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 ta. Hey, this is sick. Oh, dance break. Hey! Everyone pause. I see the footwork. Slow down, speed it up. Slow down again. Ooh. No! Oh, we're definitely going back one more time. So many like little movements and details as well. Okay, get it, Mika! I have to. Da, 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 da. Hey, what? I love that too. Look at this again. Synchronization. The way they all step. Yeah. So nice. What is that? What are they doing? They're doing like this little like knee thing, but like very fast, like three kind of, I don't know what to call it, knee taps. Da da da. Hey! Like a little bit of like hip hop elements in here as well. With some of the steps, I feel like. But overall, it's not, not a hip hop choreo. Maloy. She blew me a kiss, guys. I saw it, I saw it. I saw it! Ooh. Ooh, I like it. They created like groups, two groups. Got it. Ooh, yeah, yeah. One more time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna stop pausing now. But like, I just like this. Yeah, I like this. Ta, ta. Okay, get it. Although, also the way Joanna stepped out from the back came to the front. Hey, I like this a lot. I love the clapping. I always love when groups clap, actually clap in the choreo on the claps in the beat. And again, back to this. Back to the choreo chorus. Chorus choreo. Carrera, that's what they're doing, right? Okay. I know I paused a lot. But I, I told you guys, I told you guys, that was good. This song, okay, okay, this song is, this song is, this song is top tier. I'm, I'm telling you right, I'm telling you right now. Like this, I, I love this song. Okay, let's check out, and since I talked a lot in the dance practice, it's again, all the things that I said in the other dance practices as well, they still are present, you know, the different details, the different, you know, I, I talked about that in the other one, so I'm not going to repeat myself again. If you want to know my thoughts about the other dances, check out my other dance practice reactions. But yeah, let's get into the Wish Live. What? Wi li what? Live on what? Wish Bus Live performance. Yo, okay, that was crazy. Let's go. Okay, intro. Intro going crazy. Before we jump in, let me check. Okay, 
I, I should be good on the members, but I want to see again. We got Aya, we got Maloy, we got Colette, we got Gwen, we got Sheena, we got Mika, we got Stacy, we got Joanna. Nailed it. Okay. I think I hope. No, I'm pretty sure, actually. I'm pretty sure. Wish. One, seven, five. Yes. Yeah, her. her. I love her voice here in this intro. The power, man. The, the what am i trying to say the i'm missing that word right now harmonies that's not so difficult the harmonies are so 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 good it's crazy so on point like they just know what they're doing obviously but like listen to, it sounds so good so full so Nice. <laughs> like everyone has their place, I feel like. Knows exactly what they're supposed to do for the harmonies. the electric guitar Out. Oh, one thing i also want to say real quick these lower tones are oftentimes i feel like harder to sing than like belting like hitting these low tones especially as a female vocalist like this is pretty 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 low um these notes so those are sometimes harder to sing than like these high notes and these even though the belts sound more impressive um it's actually Sometimes, oftentimes harder to sing these like very low like low notes and make them sound full that's very difficult so i want to shout out stacy and aya specifically right here that's not easy to sing i love how they look at each other too oh these glasses are cute No, oh, this is a. This song slaps. I like that song. Bro, the car is already in. in, in. Do your thing. Hey, get it. Choreo. Don't do that with your eyebrows. Into my face like that. I know I said I'm not going to pause a lot, but I need to. This entire part, bro. Let's appreciate the vocals.
Uh. Even the low, how many is here? I love that. Was she, hold on, was she laughing? Colette? I, know, I don't think so. I, I Bro, I just had to look for who did that because it could have been she was laughing. It could have been everyone, so I had to look very quick for that one that Joanna did right here. Was it here? No, before that. Right here. I was like, who, did, who does that? Because everyone can do it. I feel like, you know, I feel like all of you, like, obviously you guys told me every single time, like everyone can sing like crazy. And this is like, and I, and I felt that before, but this is like the final, like, like everyone can, can sing. Is a, is is an, is an, is a crazy singer. Every single member of this group, like Gwen, really, I loved like her her part in the in that like bridge in the dance break part. Amazing, like everyone where I thought that maybe you know they're more like they're more of a rapper than a singer proved me wrong. And like I don't know, this was just as I said the final this specific performance right here showed me again that. 100% all of them can sing like crazy and I love it. Uh, the one thing, I think the thing that, that impresses me the most about them is like vocal wise is their harmonies, like specifically in this performance as well. I mean, they did that before in the other, in, in, the, in the Cherry on Top Wish Life, uh, but I think you could really hear it here. Their harmonies are perfection. Like every single harmony was on point. Everyone knows exactly, like every member knows exactly what to do. When it comes to these harmonies, everyone has their place in in this in the yeah in the in the certain harmonies that they're doing. Even even for the rap part, I think it was right where where um I think Colette did the low harmony for the rapping part. Like that's crazy. That's insane. They're insane. And I know I said that like before as well. But like this, I think this is the most impressive. On um, most impressed I've been up until now, vocal wise with them. This this Wish Life performance and the fact that everyone can like is is a is a is a great singer gives them so much opportunity to to do different things because obviously everyone has a slightly different voice, different tone. And the fact that every single member can sing like that makes it so, I think, fun for also the producers behind them. You know, you can just say, you can put anyone in the booth from them, anyone, and do any part, basically, probably, or, you know, most most of the parts. You can just, so it's I think it's, it's a very cool... And they have a lot of freedom when it comes to like who sings what because everyone can do everything, you know? So sick. Um, again, as I mentioned, don't want to stretch this too long. This was phenomenal. This was, yeah, as I said, the most impressed I've been so far with their vocals. And uh, this was like the final, not that I really, not that before I wasn't sure or I didn't think that all of them could, are great singers because I trust also, I trust all of you guys. You know, you're, you're, you're always, always um, they got me stuttering. Y'all always told me that everyone is like an amazing singer, but like this was for me like the final, okay, 100%, all of them are crazy, cracked at singing, I love it. I'll, there, yeah. Next thing I want to uh, wanna react to, as I mentioned at the beginning, is probably either, as I said, let me know, um, the interview first or a guide first. One of these two things, because there's still so much uh, music for me to check out. Um, but you know, I'm at a point where I do definitely want to also learn more about the personality, so I think like a guide or the interview would be the cool, the cool thing for the next video. Don't worry though, 
I know a lot of you are requesting every single song out there. I see it. I know I, I will get to the, the other songs as well. Like there's so, still so much for me to check out music wise. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think it would be cool to kind of um, dive a little deeper into the personalities because I've been told so many times as well that personalities are like what makes this group so special. Um, so yeah, I do want to learn more about them. If I should react to a guide first, let me know what guide or if I just check out, I should check should just check out the interview um, as kind of my first guide. Really enjoyed this. Off this song is a banger. This song is a banger. This might be my favorite song so far. It's either this or Cherry on Top. I really like Cherry on Top. But like, this is like kind of a sleeper banger for me. Like in the first, uh, I liked it from the, from the get-go. But like in the beginning, I was like, okay, like this is very chill. But the more I listen to it, the more it slapped for me. I don't know. This song slaps. I don't care what anyone says. I really like this. Really enjoyed all three of these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction as well. If you did, feel free to leave a like and maybe also consider subscribing. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.